Hello and thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your monthly August 2020 tarot card reading. If you would like to check out your free three card spread, you could do so by clicking the link beneath this video, or indeed you could reach out for me for a one-to-one -one session where we can look through your situation, and I'll leave that information down below as well. But let's get into this month and see what the cards hold for you. Hello Pisces, thank you so much for joining me for your August 2020 tarot card reading. Let's have a look at what's going on in your present situation. Uh, we don't have the greatest start to this month but please bear with me and we'll figure out what's going on here. This is the Ten of Swords. Uh, the negative side of this card is that there is some exhaustion, it's feeling battle weary, it's kind of like when Caesar gets stabbed in the back by Brutus, you know, you're pulling out all these swords from betrayals. Um, but the positive part of this card is it is number 10 which is the end of a cycle and so I feel as if you have been going through those difficult times where you've been let down by people around you perhaps um, that is coming to a close now so yes whilst you might not be celebrating and jumping for joy uh, there is actually a light you can see um, what is blocking you this month we have the four of cups the Four of Cups is uh, a card of apathy. It's a card of um, not really knowing um, what direction to take. It's like feeling a little bit stuck and not seeing the opportunity right in front of you. Um, there are three spilt cups and it's like there is a hand in the sky offering you an opportunity but you've been hurt. And so maybe you don't want to take it. This could be to do with a romance, especially if you have been hurt in the past. Maybe your trust has wavered. But please know that not everybody uh, in this world is, is a liar. You know, we all have our flaws and faults, but we can't tar everybody with the same brush. And if we have been hurt once, that doesn't mean to say that the next person is going to do that again. So it's opening your heart up to some trust this month, I feel, uh, Pisces. The card that uh, sort of is your foundation card for this month is death. Um, this is definitely endings and new beginnings. This is about spiritual um, transformation and metamorphosis coming out of your shell. Uh, it's that butterfly that has been in that chrysalis and it is breaking free. Um, so again, maybe not, you know, cheering down the street, skipping and singing, but there's definitely some huge spiritual, emotional shifts happening within your world this month. Your past card is judgment. So perhaps you've had to make a judgment call about a situation. This could be uh, your love life. It could be your career. Um, you've had to maybe say at some point, no, enough is enough and I'm not happy with this situation. And this has led to things changing for you. Um, not always the easiest process, but you should be very proud of yourself for standing up for yourself and your needs. The card here that spiritually crowned you is the three of uh, ones. This is about uh, travel in most cases. So perhaps where you are, restrictions are loosening up a little bit and you can um, maybe travel further afield and that could really uh, help you you get out of any feelings of stagnation but because this is the card that spiritually crowned you I feel as well this could be a uh, inner journey um you know a, a metaphorical journey within yourself these reaching these new horizons within yourself very spiritual month on the whole so far your immediate future is the star this is a fantastic card of rewards uh, where effort has been put in. I like to look at the stars as an equation. So you put this effort in, which is the left hand stars, and then manifestation happens in the middle and then the result comes out at the end. So it's it's like you're, you're being an alchemist, you're using the talents and gifts that you have to create uh, something better for your future. Um, and that is something to be very, very proud of. Now, your state of mind for this month, uh, Pisces, is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is self-assured, he's confident, he's artistic, uh, and quite funny as well. Uh, a warm character. Um, maybe sometimes a little bit scattered. So 
actually, I think this is a great place for you to be at the moment, particularly if you have been, you know, penned in. This is about your confidence reaching new heights and you being, uh, you know, appreciated for the work, for your hard work. Uh, and letting more of a jokey side of you come out. Uh, you don't always have to be the cold fish, Pisces. Um, you know, let the warmth shine through let your guard down a little bit and there can be a lot of fun to be had now your outside influence here is the nine of um coins the nine of pentacles this is brilliant this is reaping the harvest so it's not the 10 yet so you're not completely you know just enjoying the fruits of your labor but it's gone from the seven where you were planting the seeds and then the eight where you were learning new skills and talents and now you're in the nine where you can actually start to harvest that crop and that is a wonderful feeling so yes not time to rest on your laurels but definitely some rewards coming in um your uh, hopes and fears is the page of pentacles i feel as though you just kind of want to break out this month have a bit of fun spend a bit of money if you have some spare um you know the the page of pentacles um he might not be you know a hundred percent uh knowing how to utilize his finances yet but he's definitely has fun with his resources i think you've got to let your hair down a little bit this month pisces and your outcome card is the ten of wands if there are some burdens in your life it's time to let go of that you know you're climbing up a hill with the weight of the world on your shoulders everybody else's problems you're carrying by all means be there for people this is not about being selfish but at the same time um you know if you do want to have some freedom if you felt restricted if you felt that like you're stuck in a situation that you want to get out of please don't feel any guilt or shame about just having a bit of fun and um and uh, yeah, just just having a bit of time to yourself to relax, having a bit of time to yourself to computate everything that's happened, Pisces, uh, and not letting it become a burden. I'd just like to thank you once more for joining me here this month. Uh, it's been a real honor being with you. If you would like to check out that free three card spread, I'll leave that information down below. But until we speak again next month, I'm wishing you lots of luck. Take care, uh, Alyssa.